So this is, uh, if you don't know, this is uh, ChatGPT. So I pay for it just because I find it very useful in all kinds of different work that I do. So what I did, I was talking to ChatGPT and I'm looking at the different AI imp implementations, basically different ways you can use AI. And the thing that really stands out to me right now is uh, this agent development. Essentially, you, you, you set up a, a series of tasks for the AI to implement it's called an agent, and it's an agent. And so I just wanted to look at agent development a little bit more. And it's its own thing. You got to think of agent development, like, I don't know, using uh, a client-side JavaScript library or something like that. So agents, first of all, I would learn that stuff if I were you. Somebody asked me before, should I learn Python Django versus PHP frameworks? I would say go into agent development. Learn Python, JavaScript, learn the basics of the web stack, and get into agent development. That is the cheat code, if you will, for entry-level jobs now. The entry-level developer is gonna be the agent developer. And it's, it's non-trivial, meaning there is some complexity to it. So I'm just gonna highlight what I did here. Very simple thing, but you're gonna see. Well, let me just get into it. So if you look at this, I said, give me a simple example where I would set up an, an agent to ask GPT to scrape a web, the web for Ma the Mag7 stocks for that day. Mag7s are uh, Microsoft, Apple, Google, etc. So I just wanted it to set up a, an agent. So kind of like a bot, your own bot, to go out there and, and um, snarf up the Mag7 stocks for the day. So it's, it's, not, it's not terribly simple. So this is the code, right? This is all the code you got to write. So the uh, typical individual is not going to, this is all Python. I did it in Python. Well, it did it in Python. You know, it's Python because it's py, dot py. Anyway, this is Python code. So there's a bunch of libraries in Python. And I'm just getting my head wrapped around this stuff. And it's just like any other uh, libraries uh, in uh, modules in, uh, in Python. These are modules, the long chain modules, to allow you to... Uh, create agents. And so the agents you create, and then the agents go over and talk to uh, an LLM like GPT or Grok, whatnot, and you have it do things. So basically you set up your agent, you program the agent to execute commands and it sends the commands to GPT. So instead of you going into writing all the scraper code, you just set up the agent and you ask GPT to go write the, uh, to go do the scraping for you. That's the difference. So instead of you going in there, so to make a, a loose analogy, it's kind of like an ORM, object relational mapping tool, whereas with an ORM, there's an analogy, instead of you writing the raw SQL code, you just call the ORM method, and the ORM behind the scenes writes the code for you. So now instead of you writing all the scraper code in Python to scrape a, to scrape a website to get the MAG7, uh, as I stipulated here, to get the MAG7 stocks for the day, you set up your agent to make that request to GPT and then to push back the results. And you, it can get very, very, very advanced, very cool stuff. So it's hyper productivity. That's what it is, it's hyper productivity. So, so this is not trivial, right? It's not trivial. So I said, okay, so this is the code that it wrote for me. Now you have to understand this code, right? If you're not a developer, you're not understanding this code. <laughs> That's it, you know? Um, and, you know, you got the run button. It's not going to work, right? Because you know, they didn't install the module. Now, if you're not a developer, you go, how do you install a module? Well, you got to, you know, you got to open up your command prompt and boom, 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 boom. You got you to, I asked it though. You know. I put together a minimal Python script using long chain that registered the SERP API backed web search tool, initiates a zero shot agent with GPT-4. So it's communicating with GPT-4. And then it prompts you, GPT-4 to fetch today's prices for Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta, NVIDIA, and Tesla. Again, it says here, you just need to install these uh, modules here, and then you got to set the key, and then you run the script in uh, as you would any Python code. That's not something the secretary is going to do. <laughs> you got you to understand all this stuff. You understand modules. You got to understand I, uh, Python. You got to understand all these things. It's not trivial. So I, I asked you just need to install Langchain, OpenAI, and Google search results. 
and this is on my location and my local Python install exactly. It says, yeah, exactly. If you sort of Python packages, you'd install on your into your local environment here how you might set it up. So it's giving you the, the instructions on how to do it, but you still need to know what you're doing. So that is the basic point of this video. Let me get out of here. The basic point of this video is that you, you really have to know what you're doing. Like if you don't know what you're doing, you're not going to be able to work with it effectively. That's all I'm saying. So this is good. And that's just like scratching the surface. And that's the difference that if you are a developer, you have to get your head wrapped around it. I had a, it took me a few minutes to figure that out. You're not as an agent developer, your your code that you're writing, the Python code or the JavaScript code, whatever code you're writing to initiate and create your agents, you're not giving the step-by-step -step instructions to go scrape. What you're doing is you're giving the step-by-step -step instructions of what large language model to interact with, and you send instructions to the LLM to go scrape and return the results in a way you want. There you go. So that's, that's the story. So I hope that's, that simple example, just writing a simple scraper with AI using the cutting edge, uh technologies the agent tech showing you that you still need to be a developer right so what we're seeing we're just seeing the role of developers change at one point lots of people were writing code code in pascal and cobol and you know they don't anymore a lot of people were writing action script i saw actually the death and the rise in depth of action script all those action script developers in around 2010 2011 they all lost their jobs, finito, poof, but they're programmers, so they just shifted into the new thing. So there you go. That's it. I just wanted to debunk that thing. So what is the roadmap to becoming, to getting your first job as a developer? What is the roadmap to becoming super value? The roadmap is number one, learn your fundamentals, whether it be the web stack or uh, native mobile like iOS or Android, I would say go web stack uh, because that gives you the widest range of job opportunities. And then what I would do is I would then learn agentic development, as I just said. You can find tutorials on YouTube. You can find, uh, just go to ChatGPT and ask it. It will give you tutorials. That's pretty much it. And somebody points out, uh, yeah, you got all this legacy code is out there, right? Uh, Yadin says, as long as the legacy code exists full of technical debt, 100%, and circumstantial design decisions that ended up being permanent, AI cannot replace us. No, it's not going to replace coders. I don't believe that. What it's doing, it's, it's harming coders who would be writing uh, boilerplate code, putting up skeletons, that kind of stuff. Those jobs are going away just like action script programming jobs went away. Just like people who were building content rich sites with raw HTML went away when content management systems like WordPress and Drupal came out. So yeah, this, this fear is not warranted. There you go, buddies. I, I hope that example I just showed you demonstrates that. You, you, you're not gonna be a non-developer who's gonna be able to do that kind of stuff. You have to learn Python. Yeah, so you learn your foundations, then you get into to the agentic stuff. As you learn your foundations, you can get a course, or you can take, you don't have to, but you can get my interactive course, Studio Web. I think it's the best out there, but I'm biased because it's mine. You can get my, do my web stack course or my Python course or my JavaScript course. Learn those things. And then as you're learning with my material, then do the, um, use AI to help you out if, if you need help along the way. And then uh, start learning the agentic stuff. Start doing, just go to GPT, boom, 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 or get a you know, 10 minute agentic crash course and start understanding that stuff because that's how you're gonna get the job. If you have it on your resume, I know the foundations of the web stack, I know JavaScript and Python, and I can build responsive sites. And at the very top, you put, I also know agentic development. I've done this and this with agentic uh, projects. I understand it. I've worked extensively with ChatGPT 4.0 or 4.0 mini. I've also used uh, Gemini. I understand the Gemini tool sets. You don't have to be a master, but just get your head wrapped around it. You're gonna be way ahead of people or trying to learn React or trying to learn Vue, which are good technologies. But I'm just saying this is, um, 
This is how you get in your foot in the door. 